I know last time I talked about communicating with your employees. And I'll, this, one, this time around, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that, plus about the process. Hi everybody, I'm Paul Schmidt. I'm the owner and creative video strategist for Introduce Multimedia. And I wanted to expand a little bit on the communication practice that I talked about in the last video. If you didn't see it, um, just grab the link um, and or go visit the website, the blog, all that other stuff. So that'll be it'll be there, as well as our YouTube channel. However, what I wanted to dive into today is about the process that we built to know where things are in the whole production process. I know I'm going to be saying process a lot, but that's exactly what over the years that I built to a point that made it very easy for people coming in, including interns, to be plugged into the system that we've developed. And I didn't realize um, and I didn't give myself enough credit for developing this, this system. And when I, last, last week I talked about being part of a, uh, the Goldman Sachs 10,000 small business program. And one of the things that we talked about was, was the situation. How do you convey your systems or what, what systems do you have in place so that the next person down the road can really lateral into that and uh, what was brought to my attention was that I have a pretty good system I mean that um, we use we use different platforms to let folks know that's coming in where things are how we've really established um, and, and it's it's constantly a work in progress so we use uh, uh, Slack for our internal communications. We use um, Trello to manage all of our projects um, in different areas as well, both our video, regular video production projects as well as our live stream event projects. And so it, there's a pipeline, there's, there's accountability, there's details that are added and followed and, and such. And and I think that with that, coupled with our reliance on what we do within the, in the cloud, using both, you know, the Apple iCloud system as well as the um, uh, Dropbox, and then also we have a password manager. That really helps understand where things are in the ecosystem, and. You know, and I've been doing this and setting this up for years. It's been taken, it's probably taken me at least for the last, you know, six, seven years that I've had, you know, regular employees and, and interns that I've developed this whole process of, you know, knowing where things are both physically and in the cloud and, and having all the, all of our workstations connected so that they can talk to each other and everything that they need to get to is there. And where it really shined was during my, my, my time I had a stroke and I was in the hospital, the, our work did not stop for the simple fact is we ate. We, I had people in place to do all the production, all the editing, all the sort of stuff. That wasn't my role at that point in time. You know, um, things were getting done, appointments were being seen. Uh, but then, you know, all that process was happening. So therefore, uh, things flowed smoothly and while I was gone for a month and a half recovering as well as being in the hospital um, a friend of mine was able to step in to manage uh, the business as it was without too much learning cur curve excuse me 
too much learning curve. And so that right there is a testament to trying to develop the right process, using the right tools to fit in the place, fit into place all the things that you need to do, and um, being able to communicate exactly what your expectation is for the people who, who need to use it and really implement it into their workflow. And I mean, we established, I mean, it may look like this haphazard set of, set of tools, but all of them integrate, I think, pretty well. And then we're constantly iterating and trying to make things better um, using, the, using the tools and updating as much as possible so that we can find things quicker. Um, we, we know where, where we need to replace or, um, you know, uh, uh, create in a different space. So I'm really thankful for that. I'm really thankful that I had the wherewithal and the, 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 the mindset to try to do that. And um, it really helped in a bad, bad situation that really could have hurt us. But even though I was gone and out of the equation, the business kept running. And I'm very thankful that it was able to do that and that the folks that I had in place already knew what had to be done. So, and was able to be flexible and um, be able to run, run the whole thing without me physically being there. That's huge. So, so think about that. Thanks for joining me this time. Remember, if you have missed any of these, always go back to our, our website, our blog, as well as our YouTube channel to, to, uh, to catch up on what you missed. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our email newsletter. You get these right in your inbox as soon as they're launched. I'll see you next time.